is too soon for something to be going wrong. We'll just see what happens tomorrow. And we've got some unfortunate news. My hopes of getting the van back tonight are going that way. Okay guys, before we get into today's humdinger of a video, let's just bring you up to speed. In the last one, we crossed into Turkey where we're spending our three months out of the Schengen zone. Asia is right there. This right is so there. cool. And in 10 minutes, Dee Dee's little wheels, big wheels, well, hopefully, beastie, yeah, wheels, beastie wheels, we'll, we'll hopefully. be driving onto Asian soil. But it wasn't all plain sailing to get here. And for those of you who watched our video prior to that where we had some clutch issues in Greece, when you take the clutch fine. off, she's fine, but when you start to engage the clutch, they've come back. Well, it's official. We made it to Asia. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I genuinely, I'm just so excited. Yeah. It's just really surreal that we've come this far in the van and yeah, now we're here. We're off to find a beautiful park up to spend the day. Well, we've just been driving down uh, a dirt, dirt road in the middle of nowhere and uh, now our clutch pedal is stuck to the floor and doesn't want to come back up. Uh, we can't get it out of gear so we've stopped at the side of the road and the guys are trying to have a look underneath. And obviously we are in Turkey where we don't have breakdown cover anymore because we only have breakdown cover in Europe. So we're kind of going to have to rely on um, Google Translate to try and get someone to help us if we can't figure it out on our own. If you saw our last episode uh, or two episodes ago, we just had our clutch and flywheel replaced and fixed in Greece. And this is too soon for something to be going wrong. So it does not feel good at all. Um, the gearbox linkage system's fallen apart. Oh God. So, um, I don't know if you can see from there. Can you see where the torch is? Yeah. Okay, so that, it just comes off like that. Oh. It shouldn't do. That should be held in there tight. <coughs> but the problem is, as you've been driving down the road, that's obviously come off. It's loose. Yeah. Um, so, well, you can't change the gear because the clutch is engaged. Right. Um, and, not. Yeah, and for whatever reason, um, the clutch master cylinder, from what I can see, is up there. Right. There's no way I can get to that. You no. need a um, um, mechanic with a, a lift so they can get up. Okay, I'll see if I can ask this guy for yeah. a mechanic. Need a bit of uh, Google Translate. So we need a tow, don't we? Um, you probably need recovery because you can't take it out of gear. So uh, this lovely gentleman has just pulled up in his car. He drove past and then came back again. Uh, lovely Turkish guy, so Mandy's using Google Translate to try and tell him that we think it's the clutch um, and he said something and then rang someone so maybe he knows a mechanic in the town he's got Michelin on his jacket so maybe he works at a tyre place we're really not sure feeling a bit of a loose end but we've heard that people in Turkey are really nice and friendly and helpful the fact this guy stopped suggests that that is the case so Maybe you'll have a friend that can come and help us. We're now having a little baklava break. We've given the lovely guy a beer and some money to say thank you for helping us get a tow truck. Now we're just going to wait. He said it'll be 45 minutes, so... It's not, that's worse places to be stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With worse snacks. Mm-hmm. What's these you got, Cods? The lovely man just gave us a load of apples from the back of his car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy. Mandy says she's going to make apple pie, so I'm going to hold her to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apple Celebration when the van's fixed, and I'll yeah, celebrate yeah. with apple pie. Apple pie. And wine. Oh, you see, she always adds on the nice bits. You see, this is why we're like having a Oh, nice. People are so friendly. There's yeah. so many apples. What wine goes with apple pie, though? All wine. Oh. <laughs> Do you want another one? I would 
say oh. a nice bottle of fizz. I think that's enough. Right. It's all right. All our like grey water is pouring out, I think. It's the fresh. Is it the fresh? Oh, uh, just scraping on the ground. That doesn't look very safe, does it? She's a heavy girl, and that is a not a very big truck. Well, this is the most bizarre thing. Me, now in John and Mandy's van, following Dee Dee on a tow truck, makes us in the front with uh, Mustafa, the driver. And um, he's taken us to a local Mercedes and Ford garage, as far as we're aware. So, let's see where we end up. And it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, yeah, <laughs> so everything is closed at the moment, but hopefully. Well, there might be bars where we're going to. That is true, and we probably will need one of those when we get there. <laughs> Needed and deserved. Yes. And I'm glad that we saw um, Engin, was it? Engin. Oh. At the bar as we drove past before. Yeah. He deserved his drink. Yeah, he did. driving his uh, Renault 14 from 1976. I know. Which is as old as Mandy. <laughs> which is not old at all. Not old at no, all. Not it's old very at young. All. As yeah. long as your sills look better than mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I checked, my sills looked far less holy. <laughs> We made it to a garage. It's actually like a whole complex full of garages. So we're really hoping that someone's gonna be able to help us um, tomorrow or at some point in the next few days. They've brought us here. There's a whole list of uh, different brand of vehicles that they serve. However, Mercedes is all not one of them. They're all Fords. <laughs> but we'll see. At least we're here. We're here. It's relatively calm isn't it quiet ish it's an industrial estate but there's someone uh, doing some work in the background <laughs> um oh yeah i guess we'll be sleeping here tonight and apparently they have information because our friend who called the tow truck rang them and let them know that we were coming so we'll just see what happens tomorrow <sighs> yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> okay uh... I feel like I have to just keep laughing because otherwise, I mean, I'm not going to cry, but you know, when you're just like, this shouldn't be happening. We just literally a couple of weeks ago had the clutch flywheel replaced. So yeah, there shouldn't be an issue this soon. I mean, I know that we had that work done in Greece, but the wizard that is Gadget John thinks that um, they're not, most likely not related um unless they might have knocked a pipe when they took the gearbox out which has eventually now just come away which has killed the pressure going to the clutch we don't know um but it's undrivable I'm, I'm i'm like gutted but i'm also like how friggin awesome are people because we would still be stuck in that farmland with nothing if it wasn't for well one john and mandy trying to help and two this random guy 
what's his name again? Engen. Engen, thank you Engen, coming up and helping and staying for at least an hour and a half while the while he phoned the recovery truck, told them what was wrong. I'm just trying to say like people are amazing so thank you and we're hopefully tomorrow is a new day and there'll be new people that will hopefully help us solve the problem that we have so we can be on a little merry way. Morning guys, um, so we've woken up uh, quite early, it's still dark outside, um, and we've got some unfortunate news. Um, our friend Engine, uh, who helped us get this tow truck to here, he, uh, he phoned us, well, messaging us on Facebook last night, and um, turns out that uh, the garage can't help us where we are, so He's coming around at half eight this morning to um, hopefully help us get to a garage that can. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh huh. Did you sleep under the van last night? Did you? The lovely mechanic from this Ford garage just asked if we wanted a chai. So we've got a little cup of tea whilst we wait for the tow truck. Just very very nice. They are super friendly. So so lovely. Everyone's smiling at us, even though we're parked like right in the middle of the way. Everyone's trying to like scoot round us. It's a bit manic, but we're just kind of trying to just take it in our stride and keep smiling. No. Ooh, the front wheels are off the floor. <laughs> Well, it's in the garage, the guys are in the pit. They seem to all be coming to the same conclusion that um, the hydraulic fluid is leaking out from underneath, but it's not um, empty in the brake fluid cylinder, which is where it comes from. So it's a little bit confusing, but um, they're in the pit. They're gonna take a look at it. We have no idea whether it's like, they're gonna look at it now today, or if we need a hotel or what. So, oh, tea. <laughs> Did you kill it? Did you get sugar? I didn't get sugar. Oh. My friend Engin just gave me his sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do um, we need to book a hotel for tonight? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. hotel. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> um, We're now in the um, waiting room area. Waiting room. Yeah, it's lovely and warm. It's lovely. Um, and we've just worked out the cost of the two tow trucks that we had. First one was, what, it was probably 45 minutes mm -hmm. back to Kanakale. Um, and that cost a whopping 30, 30 pounds. pounds. 30 pounds. And then this one from garage to garage was, uh, what was that, 250 lira. Um, and that cost uh, 13 pounds 71 pence. Yeah. So it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I think in the UK it would have been what, 200 quid? Oh, easy. So. We're doing alright so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have no idea how much this is going to cost or how easy it is going to be to fix. But right now. She's getting work done, isn't she? Yeah. Gearbox is out, so. We're feeling okay. Yeah. And oh, bless Engin, our friend. Um, mm. he, uh, he offered to help us pay for it, yeah. which is ridiculous because. We are not going to take no any. Way. Yeah, and it's probably, hopefully, touch wood, going to be one of the cheaper repairs that we ever get done, based on the conversion of Turkish lira to pounds. Mm -hmm. But 
He's been our little hero, hasn't he? Yeah. And good. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah. Oh. Back. Again. Welcome to episode two of our European hotel tour. Yes, we're in a hotel. It's a very nice hotel. But we've been here for three days, two nights. And we don't know when we're going to leave. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Zero. Hopefully we'll find out soon. We said we'd update you today. That was 24 hours ago. And yes, we're still here. It's like four o'clock, quarter past four now, Greek time. Garage shuts at five. Greek time, we're Greek in time. <laughs> We're also going crazy. Just trying to get out of here now. I want to be exploring Turkey. That's what we came here for, wasn't it? So um, there's been a load of activity on the camera here. <laughs> um, and our friend Engin Tashikula, Tashikula. is uh, up there now and he sent, he sent Courtney a message saying um, the piece came uh, they put it in the pastry <laughs> <laughs> I think the translation might be wrong I mean I didn't think we had a pastry but it's kind of the day we're having isn't it yeah free pastry would be okay though <laughs> as long as the van's fixed hmm now 4.45. They're closing 15. I can't see anyone working on the van. So my hopes of getting the van back tonight are going that way. He's got three minutes until they close. <laughs> oh, there's someone in the front. Oh he's moving your he's moving your Christmas goods out of the way. <gasps> Not me Christmas goods. Oh the van's the van's being driven out. No way. Yeah. You can't really see it on here, but the, the, the ground's moving well. Oh my god, that means they've got it into gear, which it wasn't able to do before. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh Test my drive. God. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Engin, our friend, is texting us. He's just called and he is in the front on the test drive right now. We can see Dee Dee is moving off of her own free will. <laughs> and that is really good news. So, fingers crossed. But she is fixed and the test drive goes okay. <laughs> so I just had a message that says, yeah. Where? Oh my god, what oh, she <laughs> He said, Get your things ready, we're coming. So I think the test drive is to come and collect us. <laughs> I've literally just seen Dee Dee drive down the road. Right, let's get our stuff ready. She was going quick. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can't see her on camera, but. Yeah, I can see her. Oh my god, she's moving. Don't rack her around, Engin. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Where are we going to sit? In the back. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, don't worry. You okay? Yeah, just the table. Hold on. It's okay. Okay. Uh 
well, we safely got back. He was driving a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> over the speed bump. But we're here, we're at the garage. He says it's fixed. So they have just driven it over the pit again at the back, I think just to check underneath, make sure there's no fluid leaks or anything now that it's been driven. I keep, I keep doing fingers crossed constantly. But hopefully we'll be driving away tonight and going to find John and Mandy at a lovely beach park. <laughs> Well, that was a hell of a week, wasn't it? Yes. Here are the two culprits. So we have the um, central release unit, which was a part that was changed by the Greek garage. However, they used an OEM part, not an official Mercedes one. So the garage originally changed that out because they thought that might be the problem. But then they also changed the uh, master slave cylinder, which was an original part, so wasn't changed by the Greek garage. Um, so we're pretty confident that this little bugger was the problem and now she's fixed i'm just uh coming in with my little spreadsheet here you know i like a good spreadsheet uh the whole change and the labor and the two parts cost 570 577 577 um so quite a lot and then on top of that, obviously we had tow trucks, which we told you about before, and then the hotel for three nights, four days, plus all of the food and everything because we were stuck in the hotel. Nice food. It was, but it cost us an extra 170 quid. So all in all, a very expensive week, yet again. Yeah. Now, if Didi, you could just not do any more of that, please. Yes, we've given her a good pep talk. She's been manhandled by enough mechanics now. She's had her moment. She's been a bit sassy and we've just put her in a place. Yeah, um, but one thing that we have to mention um, is the kindness of Engin and also all the other people that helped on this mm -hmm. crazy week that we've had. After we'd finished at the, the garage, Engin was insistent that we come back to his to meet his family oh. and have some Turkish coffee and they cooked us a meal as well um although we're vegetarians so we couldn't eat it yeah but, it was know. so awkward but they were so lovely and we're just so grateful for everything that he's done for us yeah we're um, still in contact with him he keeps video calling us even though we can't just, speak we just wave and do thumbs up and it's just so adorable yeah. so they've yeah. said um we would love for you to come back if we come back that way so we will, we will definitely be staying in touch yeah, with them definitely um we also got to meet his budgie as well that was fun <laughs> yeah. You having fun with Hengen's Bertie? Bonjour. Bonjour. So cute. Bonjour. 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 Yes. Um, so yeah, what a week. Um, we're so happy to have John and Mandy with us as well. Who? Oh, they were just like our rocks through this whole week, keeping us positive, making us laugh, like yeah. trying to keep us logical and yeah just yeah john's knowledge and everything was just amazing so thank you guys yeah so uh that's it for this week yeah come back next when we're actually going to be exploring <laughs> turkey <laughs> finally <laughs> yeah and uh, we'll be heading south and hopefully showing you some of the most beautiful spots that we can find in turkey before christmas comes christmas where we have another surprise <laughs> see you next time guys see you next time bye, bye.